guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be update for the Project Pan Roulette collab that I am doing with Connie and Leah and uh, Zelma. I'll link all of them down below. Sorry if I sound really clogged up. I'm actually recovering from and yet another cold. Um, so I haven't actually finished anything in the last month. I haven't been wearing makeup a whole bunch, a little bit, but not a whole bunch. Um, However, I am actually going to be adding new products in. I'm not taking anything out at this stage, but I've decided that I'm still going to add things in because I kind of feel like I need to keep adding things in to keep it more interesting for myself because I sometimes get a little bit bored using the same things over and over again. Because um, at least two, three, three of these items have been in here since the very start of this in November of last year. Uh, so, um, yeah, and we don't have very long left to go, it's, uh, it's August 31st here now, so basically I have two full months left, um, so yeah, I just want to play around with some other stuff in my collection, um, uh, so I'm actually going to add three more things in, um, today, there's probably a couple of items that I'll have finished in the next week or so anyway, um, at least one will be finished very soon. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm just going to get into what I have and how I am going on them. So, the first one is the first item I picked right at the start of this uh, project, which is the Avon Arabian Glow Pearls, which look like that. Um, I'm actually going to be quite happy to move on to another product at the end of this project. I won't have finished these. Um, just kind of getting a bit bored with them, <laughs> quite honestly. been using them for so long. Um, it's not that they're bad or anything. They still work. Um, I tend to use them just to like bronze up a little bit around and do sort of a little bit of a, a vague contour type thing, even though it's a bronzer. Because um, I am super pale anyway and I don't, I don't ever look tan, so... I'm not using it to make myself look that way. Um, the next one is the oldest blush to hit pan. This is the Maybelline Wild Blossom. Uh, it probably doesn't look any different to last time. I tend to swirl my brush around like the whole thing, but I have been trying to focus sort of like on these edges. Um, and you can sort of see where the bottom of the thing is there. Um, but to hit the pan in the middle is cause quite domed. It would take ages. Um, this is another product that I'm kind of just getting a little bit bored of and I don't tend to reach for it. I kind of like, um, I want something different, like a different kind of tone. Um, cause I have this one in, in one of my other projects. I'm using like a pink blush as well. So it might just be that I'm yearning for something like peachy or something. Um, so... There's that. Uh, next we have the Rimmel Scandalize pencil in bright blue. I've actually got that under my lash line today. That's pretty much how I use it most of the time. It's just under my lash line. So it doesn't go very fast. Um, it hasn't moved. I haven't sharpened it since last time. I think I've used it like twice. But I haven't needed to sharpen it. So it doesn't look any different. But it's nice to have a really nice bright blue. Because I could steal my eyes today. And I was like, oh, I'm so bored with that. Oh, oh, and then I chuck some blue on and it's like, okay, that's a bit better. The next one is the last of the products that have been in since the start. Um, this is the sparkly lip gloss from Cargo in Sahara. Um, I had a line down here and the products kind of like slid off the sides at the top and so it's like back up here. This is like regenerating in the tube, but I do have to when I use it. I do kind of have to like scrape it around. It's like not really a huge amount of product left and the um, actual wand doesn't go all the way down to the bottom anyway. So yeah, it's getting there. Um, I tend to use it whenever I put lipstick on. Um, I've been wearing mostly lip balm recently, not lip gloss, uh, not lipstick, so need coffee. So the next product is the Natural Instinct Eye Cream. 
this is <laughs> it's taking forever. Uh, this is the 15 mil product, um, and that is a lot of product for an eye cream. Uh, so okay. that's where we were last time. This is where we are now. I've actually moved this into my bathroom. This was the one I was using during the day, and now I'm using it like at night. If I used it twice a day, it would probably go a lot faster, but um, I'm not. <laughs> I tend to need to have one in both places, um, but we will, we'll see what happens, because I actually ran out of all of my other eye creams. This is actually, plus a little tiny bit left of a sample, I think this is the only eye cream I've actually currently got, so um, I might have to start using it twice a day, and it might go a little bit faster. It just, it, it's taking forever. It's not that it's a bad product. I don't know if it does anything, but anyway. Then we have the expensive makeup product, which was the Anika Primer. This is the mineral, um, their mineral primer. Uh, I have no idea how much is in here. I just use a pump every time I do my makeup. Um, or like today, I don't actually have any foundation on today. I just have a bit of powder on. Um, but I have this underneath. Um, Although I did realise that the powder just collected. I've got, I seem to have lots of really dry patches through here at the moment, which is really annoying. Um, I'm probably more dehydrated than dry, though. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Uh, yeah, so I don't have much left in here. There's 30 mils or just over a full fluid ounce. Um, and it has no discernible way of working out how much is in here. I suppose I could weigh it, but... I didn't do that to start with, I'm not going to do it now. Um, and then, then I have the product that's out of my comfort zone. This is the Kate by Rimmel in number 45. This is a nude. Um, that's how much I have left. It's actually quite sheer. I'm actually wearing it right now with um, the cargo over the top of it. But I don't have any lip liner on and it's... It's almost not noticeable. It's basically my slightly lighter than my lip colour. Um, it doesn't actually look like when I held it up against the thing, it doesn't look any different to what it was before. I do prefer this over a dark lip liner than over a lighter lip liner or no lip liner, to be honest. Then we have the eye primer from Designer Brands. Um, this is just one of those clear, like, I have no idea if it actually does anything, and there still appears to be heaps in there, which is usually the way with eye primer. Um, this is 8 mil, and I honestly have no idea where it is. Um, then the favourite product from a category of choice is the Grace Cole Hand Cream in Pineapple and Passion Fruit. Uh, we were... We were up there last time and now we are down to there. It's, it's getting there. Since... Uh, I think I started on this in about the middle of last year. Because you only need like one pump to, to use it. Um, it's getting there. I really like it because I like the smell of it. It's it's just one of those products. There's so much of it that's kind of slow. This is... Uh, there's the measurement. This is like 500 mils or s nearly 17 fluid ounces of product. So, but we're getting there bit by bit. I've actually used a bit more this month because um, I was forgetting to use it. Uh, sorry if you hear weird noises in the background. Somebody's watching a movie. Never mind. Um, the next is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Um, I found out <laughs> this causes really bad flashback unless you blend really, really carefully and make sure to get off all the excess. Um, I tend to only use this underneath my eyes, which means that um, it doesn't go very fast. Um, it doesn't look like it's moved anywhere since where I last made a mark. Um, I don't know whether I'm like measuring it wrong or something. 
uh, but there's not really a huge, like, I mean, there's still plenty in here. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Um, it's just a white, I don't even know if you can see, it's just white powder. Um, I only use it to set underneath my eyes, um, so it's not like it's going very fast. Um, I'm not particularly worried, but the, the flashback thing, if I was the kind of person who went out at night or took lots of photos with flash, that would actually be an issue. But I'm not, but if you happen to be, you need to be careful of that one. It is very flashbaggy. Uh, the next one is a product that you're not sure if you like, and that is the Monaco More Brows. I actually quite like this. The more I use it, the more I like it. Um, it's a slightly fibery brow gel stuff. It doesn't control my la uh, my eyebrows. I have eyebrows that literally like stick straight out of my head. Uh, so I trim my eyebrows very, very short. Um, but this does add colour. And I have in this eyebrow in particular, in here, I have several pure white hairs. Um, I should probably dye my eyebrows, but I'm a bit lazy. Um, and this actually covers those up so they're not quite so noticeable. Um, yeah, so basically what I do is I use powder first to shape and define like my eyebrows and then I put some of this over the top and I'm actually really quite liking it. So yeah, that one was actually a good find because I bought like I think three different eye gel, like coloured eye mascara type things, eyebrow mascaras. Um, that was the first one I used, and uh, yeah, I don't hate it. So there you go. Uh, the next one was Favourite Perfume, which I don't actually have, but I was using this one here. This is Bronze Goddess from uh, Estee Lauder. Oh, I can't remember. I forgot that. It was full when I started. Um, I've used it maybe twice. So... You know, if I used it a couple more times, it would probably be empty. It's not a bad fragrance. Um, I don't mind it. Um, one thing with fragrances is, generally speaking, if you can smell it after it's set on your skin, then it's probably not the right fragrance for you. Because generally you can't, once it's, like, dried down, um, and warmed up with your body. Normally you can't really smell it as much as other people who smell it. But if you can smell the actual perfume, it's probably not the right scent for you. And I have to like physically check to actually smell this one once it's like dried down. So it's probably a good scent for me. Um, it's quite a citrusy type of scent, which is my preference anyway. So there you go. Uh, the next one was a mascara. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded. It's what I'm wearing today. I do find that it is quite um, volumizing. Like my eyelashes look pretty good. However, this is a brand new mascara, and I have like flecks of black mascara collecting underneath my eyes. I'm wearing purple mascara on the bottom, so I know it's not that because it's purple, and it's obviously purple when you, like, when it comes off. Um, this is actually quite a wet formula, so I'm actually quite surprised by that, but it's like when it dries down, it kind of goes a little bit flaky, which is normally a sign to me that a mascara is old and needs to be got rid of. Um, so yeah, if it gets any worse, <laughs> this one would be, this will be going, um, because clearly it's not working for me, because the, um, I've noticed with other mascaras that I've been using, when they start to get older, they transfer, like, right here from the bottom lashes, and I haven't noticed that with the purple one, um, which is the NYX purple one, if you're wondering, um, but with this, it's more like, it's just like, um, like I've used a black eyeshadow when I've got black eyeshadow fallout, but I haven't used any black eyeshadow. And my eyeliner is actually brown, like a dark brown. It's not this colour. And so, pretty sure it's the mascara. 
So, I don't think I like this mascara. <laughs> but I will keep using it for a bit longer and see whether my opinion changes. Then we had a metallic product I put in the Orly Mask Ceremony Nail Polish. Uh, this doesn't actually look any different. I've used this, I think, once on one finger or something. <laughs> Not doing so well with nail polishy things at the moment. I'll try and I'm just not getting there. And the last thing was the Lacura Face Serum, their Lift Serum. I'd actually expected to like use this up, but I forgot that I had put it in the project. So it didn't actually get used at all. But that's fine. <laughs> so I am going to pick out, even though I haven't used anything, I'm going to pick out three new ones from here. Um, that will actually take me up to 35 products used in this um, particular project. Not used up, 35 products picked. You know what I mean. Uh, so not looking. We have one. We have two. And three. I can always see one of these might be uh, changed down. Okay, so the first one is a product you have already hit pan on. Uh, the next one is a product you wouldn't repurchase. And the third one is a face primer. I already have a face primer in this project. So I'm just going to ditch that and pick another one, my project. Your favourite foundation, again, <laughs> don't have one and I already have two others going at the moment. Third time's the charm. A product you use regularly. Okay. Um, I'll have to find something. Alrighty. I will be back. Okay. So, the product that I picked for product you have already hit pan on is this blush from LOL. Um, it's, this one is like more peachy toned as opposed to the other blushes I have in projects. I don't know how well you're going to see that. But um, yeah, I had this in another project and hit pan on it, so I figured that's a good one to work on and it gives me a different colour um, blush to use. The product that I use regularly, um, well, I've started to use it a bit more regularly, it's actually concealer. Um, my Fit Me is in another project, but I do actually have this Instant Age Rewind in Light Pale. Um, I've started to use this one, sort of like I interchange between the two of them. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one yet. I know a lot of people love it, but uh, I haven't made up my mind yet. So, be good opportunity to use it a bit more and... Uh, Work out how I feel about it. And the product that I wouldn't repurchase. Um, this is not because I don't like this product. It's because I have three of them. Um, which is the AC On Tour Contour Kit. This one is the original one. And I have another one of this original one. And then I have a version of the light version of it. Which is not that much different to this actual version um, so I bought this one and then my friend Tamara uh, gave me another one um, I kind of bought it in a bulk lot of makeup even though I already had one and then I bought when the new light one came out um, I forgot that I already had it and so I bought it when there was like a 40% off sale uh, so now I have three of them <laughs> so I wouldn't repurchase it because I have three of them 
blank, seriously. Um, the some of the colours, uh, I, I don't know, I suppose this one here is more uh, like a bronzer. Very orange. They're nice soft powders though. Uh, so that one is the one on the end. That's the one in the middle. I haven't really used them very much. Those are the, the darker shades. Then there's a banana powder, um, a matte. This one is a shimmery highlighter. This one is a banana powder. And this one is a matte highlighter. Now, I generally cannot use banana powders. So that is the matte one. Probably can't see it. That is the banana powder. And that is a shimmery highlight. Again, you probably can't see them particularly well. Um, banana powders, like under my eyes, just they make me look yellow, and my skin tone is pink, so it just doesn't look right. But um, I don't have any particular plan on where I want to go with any of these. I just I figured I'd get some use out of it because I haven't actually been using a proper contour color. Um, just, just for something different, and I've had them for a while and haven't really used them, so, yeah, so that'd be my item that I would not repurchase. So, that is it for this particular update, I will be back in a month to update again, I will link the other ladies down below, so make sure you go and check them out, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell if you want to get notifications, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video, see ya!